Hi, I'm Dad the Engineer. In a couple of my recent videos, I've mentioned the importance of using Ethernet as often as you can within your local area network. In case you've missed them, there are links to those videos in the description below. In a nutshell, Ethernet has better latency, available bandwidth, and traffic routing. It also has the benefit of reducing wireless congestion, improving conditions for the devices that must communicate wirelessly. The exciting thing for me, though, was that someone messaged me with a question. They wanted to know if, because of the benefits of Ethernet, it was worth it to use a wireless bridge to bring Ethernet to part of their residence. It's an interesting question, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. For anyone that doesn't already know, a wireless bridge is a device that connects to your wireless network, adding one or more Ethernet ports. These devices have historically been used to bring Wi-Fi connectivity to devices that aren't natively wireless capable. Often these devices are switchable between acting as a bridge, a wireless access point, or a wireless repeater and extender. Since most of these devices support wireless connectivity, the question may seem strange. After all, if the bridge uses Wi-Fi for its backhaul, what could possibly be the benefit of adding in the device? Well, there are a few benefits. Regardless of how many devices you put behind that bridge, it will present as a single Wi-Fi connection. This can reduce congestion and therefore collisions and retries in a crowded Wi-Fi environment. Most bridges have external antennas that are much better than what you have on a wireless capable device. It's also trivial to move the bridge to a location with less obstruction and interference. The real world impact is that the wireless connection to the bridge can have higher bandwidth and lower effective latency, resulting in a more stable and reliable connection. Your wireless devices may not support newer Wi-Fi standards, or features like MIMO or WPA3. Assuming you select a MIMO-capable bridge, and the Ethernet interface on the device is capable of higher speeds than the native wireless adapter, you are effectively upgrading the capabilities of your devices. For sure, a bridge isn't as good a solution as using Ethernet throughout, but it can provide incremental benefits in situations where you can't run an Ethernet line. Ideally, you would be able to pair a bridge with multiple devices, like your TV, game consoles, and any other Ethernet-capable devices you have nearby. In case your environment can support it, subscribe and watch for an upcoming video on powerline networking, as that can be a better alternative to wireless bridging. I've included links to a couple bridges in the $35 range in the video description, though you can spend considerably more on similarly capable equipment if that's your thing. If you found this video to be helpful and would like to see more like it, please like and subscribe. That encouragement would mean more to me than you know, as I'm just getting this thing started. If you would like to contribute some feedback, please engage with me in the comments below. If, like me, you're a little old school, please check out my website linked in my bio. Thanks and have an awesome day.